The big task for this year is to get the hull fixed from the outside. We hope this could be achieved by good pressure wash and a little bit of paint. However, when we hauled out the boat, we discovered a very severe corrosion damage. So now we are facing a labor extensive, very expensive and extended time in the shipyard. So far we ripped out the galley, all the interior from the saloon and underneath the aft cabin and removed a lot of dusty old cork insulation together with some frames. Then we called in an expert who discovered a very big hole. But we decided to continue this project anyway. And while Lucas was repairing the hole, we continued with massive destruction. So what's up next? Hello, it is so good to see you again. Last time we, well actually the lads from the yard, fixed a big hole in our ship. And I have to say we are really happy the way it turned out because it is not easy to repair an historic ship. Especially welding is difficult, because the steel is old and dirty and you have to be very careful because of the rivets. So we did a lot of research before we took the ship out of the water. And we brought Flying Coney to this shipyard because they have a lot of experience with old ships. Since we discovered so many issues after we hauled out the ship, we are really glad that we are in such professional hands. All the lads here really know what they are doing and they are a big help to bring Flying Coney back to life. After we published the last video, we finally took four days off. And we feel so much better now. Thank you so much for your supportive comments and your kind words. This time we take apart the fossil and take a closer look at the problematic areas of the hide. Hi. We are Daniel and Barbara. The last years we spent sail racing against the best sailors in the world. Then we decided it is time for a new chapter in life and bought a huge historic ship. And now we are in for a very long project and on a mission to convert this neglected steelboat back into the beautiful sailing ship she once was. So join us on this journey and welcome to the Shipyard Series. Our fossil is full of nasty surprises. First, we found a leaky water tank. Then, we found a decommissioned, but still full wastewater tank. And now we found another big surprise. So follow me. The way the flooring in the forest is constructed is this. We have the timber and on top of the timber is a plywood sheet. And the timber lays right on top of the concrete and next to the frame. And that's already a weak spot because all the water is running down the inside of the hull and collects right there. So the timber gets wet and the moisture stays in the wood and the wood starts to rot and then the frame next to the wood starts to rust away. And the end result is this. Yes, we have a big hole in the hull and that's not good. So now we have to remove all the flooring and the rest of the interior to find out if it stays the only one. And I'm afraid it will not. It doesn't look good, but I think. 
Okay, we have removed the covering plywood of the hull now and unfortunately the ceiling or the roof is coming down. So I think it's more safe if we remove the covering boards of the deck first. Okay, not fun at all. Good. Here I want to show you something really interesting. The deck itself is constructed almost like it would be a wooden boat. Uh, we have the wooden planks and underneath a metal, metal framing on which the wooden planks are laid. And underneath this wooden deck and uh, uh, deck beams there is a layer of roofing tar and that's potentially dangerous so we have to be really careful. Um, underneath the roofing tar there is a layer of plywood and then there is another layer of plywood underneath it and the last layer is overlapping and it's, there are quite big sheets so it's really difficult to remove that and if it comes down eventually it comes down all at once so you're covered in dust and it's Really a tough job. And there's one bucket here, one pit nail here.
Another unbelievable exhausting job is done. We've removed almost all the wood paneling on the hull and also most of the covering boards on the ceiling. And what's really interesting is we have a wooden deck underneath the steel deck. They covered it up with steel, probably because it was leaking by the look of it. By the look of it, I can tell it was leaking. Okay, tomorrow we will bring up all this wood we have removed on deck and then we will continue ripping stuff out. We need to talk. For us it was always important to keep the production quality of these videos as high as possible. So that means we use a very expensive camera, which after all the shipyard work looks like it had been in multiple wars. Each shot is color graded and we spend a lot of time editing and fine tuning the videos. And all that to produce the best sailboat refit show in the world. And yes, this was a Top Gear quote. So the videos are much more work than throwing a GoPro in the corner, putting the footage together, speeding it up and hope for the best. The reason I bring this up is, recently we started to throw a GoPro in the corner and speed the footage up and I guess now we have to come up with an idea what to do with all that content. We do our best to tell a story in every episode. Sometimes humorous, sometimes educational and sometimes even personal. So we consider this channel as the Flying Coney Show. And at least for us, it's much more than just a vlog. And the main goal is to entertain you folks. On the other hand, this makes it more difficult to involve personal thoughts and feelings. We always enjoyed the interaction with you in the comments and we felt that this personal communication was missing in our videos. And since I was always told I have the perfect radio face, I thought it would be a good idea to start with a new video element. So my idea is to use this space to share our thoughts and ideas and to start the conversation. Sometimes humorous, sometimes educational, but always personal. Tell me in the comments what you think about it. So we eventually finished the tedious job of ripping apart all the interior in the fossil. The sole remaining job, pun intended, was to get rid of the floorboards. In other words, ripping out the cabin sole. Got it? We now have a look if there is a hole like here because that's where this frame 
was sitting for too much time. Actually, doesn't look too bad. But still you see the, the problems with this construction here. The wood has, has eaten away the steel quite a bit. But I don't think that's too serious and should be easy fixable. That's all. What's really interesting is that the wood is in really bad condition. Well, that was kind of expected, but the more interesting part is that the stanchions, the steel stanchions that holding the wooden beams is completely gone. There's just air underneath it. Up next are three nasty tasks in the fossil. First, we have to remove our toilet so that we can remove the flooring underneath it. Then we have to remove our wastewater lifting system. And finally, we have to shovel out our old decommissioned but unfortunately still full wastewater tank. And I'm really looking forward to that one. First step is to remove the hose clamps so we can get the hose off and hopefully it will come loose easy. And let's hope it's empty. Greatly built. 25 meters of shift and that just fits in. Okay, why not use two different screws on one toilet? Yeah. But it's only fresh water. Yep. Fresh water Yep. It is, but just a bit. That's it. Let's hope for the best and prepare for the worst. Moment of truth. <laughs> yeah. But it's pretty clean. I think it's only fresh water. <laughs> it doesn't smell. Okay. Remove the toilet. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I think it's done. Yep.
we have a few options. Here. Yes. First option would be to to remove everything and to to try to get as much fluid out as possible. Yes. Problem is on this side it's difficult to disconnect it and to move it and here on this side it's difficult because there is no nuffle or no... I don't think it's supposed to be like this. <laughs> and I think that's also the reason why it smells. It is. It I would, would like to test how much I can lift it. Okay. You can put the tray underneath it. Uh, because yeah. it's yeah exactly underneath just underneath the, the whole thing and put a little bit of water in that tray here. And through then, this hole. Yeah, through this hole. I think that's the easiest way. I think that's enough. Ah. Mm. It stinks! By the way, if you know a better way how to do it, we don't want to know it. You can keep it for you. That's how we did it and we will never do it again. Just leave it. I think I could do it in the bucket. You think the bucket is easier? It is easier because I don't have to care about the amount I'm putting in. But I'm not sure if I can lift it that high, that's the question. After we have removed, or after Barbara has removed all the grey and black water hoses, we can finally remove all the flooring what's left in the hose layer. While watching the transformation of the fossil together, let's talk about what the refit project means. I know right now the fossil looks horrible. There is a lot of rust, dust and a big hole. And in many ways that is true for the whole ship. There is rust everywhere, there are a lot of pittings and even holes. But 
just like the fossil will look a lot better just by carrying out some buckets of rust, our ship will look a lot better when we put it back to sea. You also have to put these things into perspective. It's a huge ship and a huge project, but there are only a few real problems and we try to fix them. I can't stress this enough, but the overall state of the vessel isn't bad at all. I know an old historic steel ship isn't for everyone, but they don't make hulls like ours anymore. Flying Coney's history dates back almost 100 years. She is built with different materials and methods, and I'm pretty sure she will be one of the last ships of her type saved from the scrapyard. Not many of them still around anyways. But I guess you have to wait until you see the finished result before you judge the work. Last time I ended the video where it was a good point story-wise, because the new hole opened up and all that. But the overplating job was not finished. We will come back to it in a later video, but for now you have to trust me. The finished result looks amazing. Already a lot better, but I have mentioned three nasty tasks in a fossil. Removing the toilet, removing the wastewater lifting system, and More work than expected, to be honest.
The idea is to bend the top away. You can, you can shovel out what's in there. I can tell you, we didn't stay in the Netherlands because of the delicious food. We are here because the Netherlands are known for their top-of-the-world metal boat work. Even Jeff Bezos had his yacht built here. And it's the Netherlands that have a big fleet of traditional ships. Many of them 100 years old and still used commercially. So we found the shipyard that works on traditional ships each and every day and we decided they are the best to bring Flying Coney back to life. All the workers love the job, they know everything about steel ships and of course they are all certified and professional welders. What I try to say is, we did our research and we selected a team we can trust on. And without trusting the expert you have personally chosen, there is no way of approaching such a huge refit project. Now that the tank is open, coming up next is the pure horror of shoveling out what's in there and to get rid of the rest of the tank. But more on that in the next video. A massive thank you to all of you who have joined our Patreon community. You folks make sure that we can make and edit these videos. So thank you very, very much. If you also want to get more involved in this project, you can join us on Patreon. Or it is now also possible to make a PayPal donation. I put the link for you in the description. Making this video was quite fun, so it turned out a bit longer than usual. But we decided to keep it that way and to show you more in detail how we work and how exhausting this work is. We really hope you liked this longer format. If so, then don't forget to leave a like, tell us what you think and please subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.